In a previous day, we are working how to search movies from a search box. Today, we will learn how to fill a form which is rotating its position on each time. Like when we load this RPA Challenges website, you can see here a form. It will always rotate its position. I will fill it manually. Its company name, last name, here will be email, address, and here will be last name. Submit it. As you can see its position is rotating. The target in a Atoma, you will learn we can target this element and fill a form by Atoma. Let's move on a workflow. Here is an active tab. As you can see here, here is a 7 input. We will paste here a form. Now we will paste here a group. Group of activities on a one place. I will connect it with the work. If you want to move to your form activity, you can hold from anywhere. But when you will need to put in a group, you will need to hold from there. Now we will paste in a group. We'll go on each one by one. Click on our first. We'll give her name where we want to put just for a description because it will show on our activity. We can recognize where this activity is here, like a role in. You can see here it's a role in. So we'll click here, it will copy this attribute and I will paste in selector. Now simply move on a second form activity and select element. Here will be email. Now we'll move outer of the block. That will be click. Just here click and connect with the workflow. Edit its attribute and select here an element. For this, it will be a submit button. Click on attribute, copy this attribute and press here. When you move your box, you can see here verify selector. When you will click here, you can also verify your selector. I hope you are understand. I will paste here a Java fixed where we will give a name and edit its attribute atoma set variable i'll write here first name and here will be a value of first name i'll copy this function and paste here seven times Now we just set up this JavaScript activity between these activities, active tab and block of activities. Now we'll move on each activity which is present in a group and here we'll paste variable name, curly braces, a variable and name. As you know it's a company role, so we'll paste here a name of variable role. Move on and next. Now it's just time to test. Now we play it. See that it's quickly run. If you want to see it before submit your form, you can put here a breakpoint in a debug mode and save it and upload it. Now you can see that it's properly failed. And now when you will click on LSU, it will be submit. I hope you are understand. In the next day, we'll talk about how to use a loop in our workflow for fill up form.